let's talk about API retries and exponential backoff. So when interacting with APIs over a network, it's common for networking issues to occur for various reasons due to the amount of devices a request has to pass through and points of failures. You could have issues with DNS servers. You could have issues with switches. You could have issues with load balancers, gateways. There's all sorts of networking things that can happen. Uh, so the thing is when working with APIs, you need to plan for possible network failure by trying again, basically sending the request another time. It is an industry-wide uh, recommendation when working with APIs to use exponential backoff before trying again. What does that mean? Well, the idea is that if we have a failure, we'll try again in one second. Then the next time if it fails, we'll try again in two seconds, then four seconds, then eight seconds, then 16 seconds, then 32 seconds. I'm not sure if you're seeing that pattern there, but we got some math on the left-hand side. Notice it's going by a factor of two. Look at the exponential, two to two, two to the power of three, two to the power of four, two to the power of five, okay? Um, good CLIs and SDKs already have this built in. So quite often you don't have to do anything but to use the CLI or SDK. But if you are not using them and you're directly interacting with an API via HTTP requests, you'll have to code this in yourself. And then often these CLIs or SDKs will allow you to change the strategy for exponential backoff. So they might allow you to change um, the initial value uh, in terms of what it will back off on or other things like that, okay?